Adam here with a new video and this time we are going to make a look to uh, the last uh, white dwarf. This is the one from Jan. So here we have the white dwarf from Jan. We are going to make a look. I'm going to make the first look together with you. So I will also have the first impressions with you. So yeah, we have the typical introduction, the, uh, yeah, the, the white dwarf theme and the new uh, resolutions. So yeah, you can find this. I think in <coughs> uh, I think in, in the community where you can put down your resolutions. To be fair, I don't I don't care about that. So we we see here we will have 40k to sigma normally it's divided by topics. By and and let let's take a look what we see here. So first of all is the the most generic part where we have the pictures from the viewers. And we have the letters from the viewers, so uh, nice um, paint jobs here we see. Uh, this one here, I hope you can appreciate it, in the, it's a really nice one. But as well, this glowing effect on this, this uh, scheme um, on the judicator, not yet, the judicators uh, are quite nice. Okay, so these are from Michael Kurz, Damien Tomasina, Benjamin Murray, Adam K Kallier, Thomas CLS CL sorry CL CL ski. So then we have here the model of the month. This is uh, let me see what uh, they said. I'm doing the first read together with you. So it's a more out. So uh, the big uh, shooter array is a. Uh, Made from the night uh, kids carriers, uh, auto cannons, two big uh, shooters, and uh, no, yeah, but I'm trying to see. What I want is this impressive or creation? Uh, so it's just an or creation. They don't say what it is. Just I guess you can use it as a knight or as a gold canoe or as you want. Walls of Warhammer. Okay, we have here. It's always uh, interesting. This one here. This bloody thing, it's an interesting concept. Nice bases here. And we go to Warhammer 40,000. As usual, we start normally with the Warhammer 40,000 uh, part. And I'm hating this glare we always have on, the, on this magazine. So, the first part we see we have a new kill team uh, rules. Okay. Uh, and so this is skill team uh, dispositions uh, I'm thinking what is this position the rules presented over the next few pages offer new ways to build narrative focused skill teams that specialize in a particular star of war each model in your kill team gains uh, that dispositions keyword and access to the to a selection of new tactics that represent their style of fighting Perhaps uh, you've got uh, an elite team of uh, headhunting Vokari riders. Maybe you are filled in orb with... Okay, so it's like a... Uh, there are uh, also six new missions. Okay, and the dead position is Furious, Guerrilla, Headhunter, Dread and com Covert. Okay, the narrative, uh, in narrative um, play games you can select a disposition for your kill team. So it's for narrative games. Okay, and then the disposition is giving you uh, three different uh, tactics. Okay, each one of them is giving you some tactics. I will not go into detail, I don't want. And then we have uh, new missions, these are narrative missions. Okay, it's nice that we always have new, new things, new um, uh, material in the White War for our games. So, and it's good that they uh, diverse between the different games. Okay, I will not uh, read all. Then we have a uh, last of the Silent Kings. What is this last of the Silent Kings? Look something Necron. Okay. Urban Battlefield. Then we, they talk about the Urban Battlefield. This is the Galactic War Zones. And as usual, so we have seen different um, paint schemes and bases for different uh, uh, war zones. So this is the one for urban okay or city fight that's quite eh, it's uh, always 
Uh, it's nice to see different schemes, different colors and how to adapt your armies to different uh, war zones so in case you want to adapt them. Uh, here we see this one, it's quite curious. So they are using this is a mechanical one but I think it is from the yeah, I like this color scheme from the mechanical. So this is quite nice and interesting color schemes here. So I guess the next one is just a narrative part, yeah, it's a narrative thing, okay? Uh, we go to the Age of Sigmar, okay, and we have the Red Prospect, but it's a fiction, so it means it is a, a narrative as well. And then here we have a Skies of Slaughter, remember in the previous magazine we have uh, the game of, uh, of um, sky fighting, and here we have more rules. We have more scenarios, okay, you see, we have more scenarios, seems that they are like delivering a mini game between the, the two white dwarf, and then we have uh, also rules for campaigns, and we even have here uh, the rules, uh, more, more um, miniatures to be able to play, so we have um, all the, most of the flying creatures, so the Lord Celeste and the Dragon World Templar, the battle mage, the free will general, of course, on on, on Uifon. We have, uh, yeah, the the sorceress on black dragon, the dreadlord on black dragon, Achelian Leviathan, Achelia Alopex. We have the phoenixes. Uh, we have here the yeah, this is also the phoenixes with the rider on top. We have the uh, ships. So really. There is a lot of a lot of, of, of um, new. It's quite curious all this because there is a lot here, right? So of course they go, they, they have the zone, uh, the terror haze is also flying here. We see terror haze is here. Okay. Okay, and then we go to rules engagement again. Um, this is a quite a common topic in 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 the White Wars and we go to the tale of the four warlords so let's see what they are going to do now so I see that uh, he's adding the one doing the uh, Stormcast is adding more um, uh, adding from heroes from the Sacrosan so he's adding the evocators on the on the Celestian Draco lines he's adding this guy uh, I guess he's adding the generic one the, yeah, the Lord of Caramon Taurion or Tauralon, sorry. And uh, is this. Uh, the third in the realm of. Uh, I like the idea of painting them. No, this is the same as on top. So he's not adding a Lord Arcanum with that. He's having no 2700 points. Adding the, here we have the Lord uh, Arcanum on uh, Tauralon. So he has two Lord Arcanons and three Encantors. So it's really um, only the Sacrosan Chamber, and it's about uh, um, Arcanons, Encantors, uh, Secutors, Evocators, Castigators. One Ballista. And then we have the Lord of Nurling, so he's adding this. The, um, I never remember the name of this thing. And some plague bearers. So it's the pot box bringer, I think, if I'm not wrong. Uh, yeah. Okay. Here we have the other. This is a, quite a little more miscellaneous, I think, if I'm not wrong. Uh, he has. You know, it's mainly because he's a frost phoenix. So I'm curious. He's adding a frost phoenix. Uh, but uh, because he has the riots, uh, no, he's adding this with the frost phoenix. He's adding, but it's mainly uh, deep kin with uh, some allies. And here we have uh, the one that is on, on goblins. Okay, it's mainly squeaks and goblins. So it's quite interesting so, to see. I like to see this uh, evolution. Destroy the nexus. So here we have. A battle report, okay, where is um, 
the Bone Reapers against uh, the Osea, sorry, against the uh, Ogres. Okay, and it's 2000 points. Battle, deployment. I will, I will not show you so you can. You don't see the whole the battle finishes. Glory points. This is uh, some articles that I really love to read as I'm uh, I'm going deeper and deeper on Warhammer Underworlds. So very curious to see what is this. I love the paint job on this tool. So very curious to see what they, they what they will explain in this number. And then we have a fiction. Okay, we have a history based on base grief. And more rules for um, Blackstone Fortress. It seems that Blackstone Fortress is it's appearing in all the white ones. So there is a lot of expansion for Blackstone Fortress. A lot of uh, scenarios, and and, uh, uh, and it's it's good to see that they are really dedicating time to this time and resources. So here we see okay, we have a, a new and then here we have a basing. Okay, I've been asked to do a tutorial on this one, so I will do a tutorial as well in, in my channel. But in case you you also want to do the white dwarf, here we see some uh, paint splatter on that. I also love the paint job on these things. Okay, and this is mainly a masterclass on basing, right? It's uh, it's going to the next level. This one is very nice. Really, what we have seen at the beginning, how to make the basing, then uh, work with the glowing. Okay, you see also adding to the plastic bases to make them even more interesting, adding more texture. New year, new army. This is about collecting. Okay, I have enough army, so I don't think I will go for another one. Thing this year should be more focused for me and then at the end we have the middle earth so this is a terrain showcase and this terrain looks wow, amazing and this is something that we have not seen for long in games workshop that is using other materials that are not from games workshop to do terrain this is very interesting I think this is very interesting stuff. And finally, we have Blood Bowl. Okay? So, this is about classic plays. So, we have the Lizardman against Skaven. And inside of the studio, so here we can see what they are playing. And here is what I was telling you, uh, Warhammer Resolutions. So here you can cross, is, is a wait for you to follow up if you are delivering what you want. So it's, you say, two points per monthly uh, challenge completed. Yeah, you have to do a hero, a unit, a monster. Okay, 10 points for completing all 12, 2 points for each set completed throughout the year 1. 1 hero, 1 unit and 1 monster and 1 point for each bonus hero, unit, monster you completed. Okay, but I think at the end of the day you will have too many heroes here and too many monsters or vehicles. I guess you should paint only one of them. I guess so. I guess you only need the, the idea is that you only paint one of them. It's up to everybody. Okay. And that's all. So this is what you find in the white door. Let me see if there is any tip for the next never mention issues. Think sometimes to here they put exclusive subscriber copies. Ultimate. Yeah, next month Darbacks Iron Sands. So we are going to have about something about um this sounds like orcs. So this is 
the issue of January 2020. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please give a like if you have enjoyed the video. Uh, share if you think other people can be interested in what is in the weather of Jan 2020. And as usual, thanks a lot for watching and see you again later. Bye.